there are many, many bad takes on Twitter right now of this uh, uh, absolute... I mean, there's not hardly even words for it. I mean, this absolute tragedy. But as long as the victims were white and Christian, doesn't matter how old they are, doesn't matter in the manner in which they died, uh, even though one of the victims was a black man, we're going to ignore that. And, uh, you know, um, it was a transgender person that did it. So actually, actually, you guys, we have to go after the victims of this because they're the really they're they're the bad guys here benjamin dixon says these white christians devils went from thoughts and prayers to actively calling for revenge and violence as soon as they saw the mass shooter wasn't one of their own for the first time in history benjamin dixon what the fuck, bro? What 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 the fuck are you talking about? Straight to hell. Just straight to hell, okay? Damn, dude. <sighs> Actively calling for revenge and violence as soon as they saw the mass shooter wasn't one of their own for the first time in history. <sighs> These are... I don't even know what to say. But of course, it keeps going. But wait, there's more. David Pakman says, Very surprising that there would be a mass shooting at a Christian school, given that lack of prayer is often blamed for these horrible events. Is it possible they weren't praying enough or correctly, despite being a Christian school? It, it is, it's bizarre how if, if the shooting doesn't fit whatever narrative that they've selected at this current time, all empathy and understanding that these are people and there was just a act of horrific violence, it just goes right out the window, totally out the window. And by the way, what is, who even, what is this? Given that lack of prayer is often blamed for these horrible events. What does that even mean, David? Mr. Pacman? What does that mean? Is, is he trying to say something about how... Is he actually saying that a lack of belief in God? Like, godlessness leads to this? Is that what he means by given the lack of prayer? Um, is that what he's talking about? And then, of course, this absurdity... Is it possible they weren't praying enough or correctly despite being a Christian school? Which obviously what he's referring to here is the atheists or the uh, smarter than thou types. How they like to act as if, well, if there's a God and all you have to do is pray, how come bad things happen to you? Well, you know what, David? I've prayed that God would take you off the board and he hasn't yet. So sometimes God works in mysterious ways. All right. It's uh. We cannot know his will. And we are not guaranteed safety just because we ask for it. Especially when there are people who listen to you who apparently think it's okay to go and execute small children. So, you know, there's a lot going on here, David. And you can just fuck right off straight to hell, as far as I'm concerned. And Mr. Uh, Pacman here, by the way, he posted this. And surprisingly, I mean, who... Who could have seen this coming? Had a lot of backlash and people were telling him, wow, what a soulless piece of human waste you are. And so he deleted the tweet. And he talked about why he deleted it. And you may ask yourself, did he delete it because he realized the error of his ways? And so, well, maybe I said some things in haste and I didn't take into it. No, of course not. He deleted it because he's the victim here. He deleted it because everyone who disagreed with him apparently was anti-Semitic because he's a Jew. So everyone who 
disagreed with this fantastic take, which, I mean, how could anyone even be upset about this? That's crazy. Uh, everyone who disagreed with him, they were anti-Semitic and he felt unsafe. So actually, you may think that the eight-year-old, two nine-year-olds, and then the three adults that were killed, targeted and killed, they were the victims? No way, man. It, it was it was David Pakman. Of course it was. God, get it together, bigots. You you anti-Semites out there. <laughs> But as, a, as always, there's more. Don't worry. So we have another one here from someone named Spencer Ber Bergstedt. I, I don't know. I, I just know he's got a killer beard, which just makes this all the worse. To, to, I never want to disagree with a man who has a killer beard, but holy crap, man. This is brutal. Um, and of course, he's uh, also experienced some unfair attacks because of this tweet. Totally unfair, totally unwarranted. So he's uh, restricted the replies so people can't reply to it anymore. But he says, Another day, another mass shooting. The shooter has been identified by his dead name. It appears he used he, him pronouns and was a former student at the school. Of, of course, mainstream media and the... Law enforcement, I always read L-E-O, law enforcement officers, yeah. Discussing the issues are misgendering the murderer. I'm sad and angry on so many levels. And he says, muting this since trans and non-binary folks don't need the noise. Uh, yeah, I mean, they don't need that. The, the trans and non-binary folk, they don't deserve that kind of... <sighs> that kind of vitriol that comes from saying some shit like this. <sighs> the true victims here are the people who are reading comments on Twitter. They're the ones who are actually, uh, I mean, they're suffering. It's just, oh, God. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Karen Lopez says, five times CNN misgendered. No correction. A mass shooting is horrible. Misgendering does not make anything better. And of course, this has also, the replies have also been restricted on this. Um, God forbid that, you know, people somehow, and uh, again, somehow took offense to this statement. I mean, it's just... Clearly, it's only right-wing bigots who would who would ever take offense. They're basically Klansmen or neo-Nazis are the only people who would take offense to such a statement. It seems like maybe there's plenty of confusion about whether or not the shooter is a transgender man or woman. And finding out that the police there don't know how to use the right words does not shock me. But mixing genders in the same story is still a problem. <sighs> okay, Karen. Okay, Karen. I mean, that's... I'm, I've, you know, you're right, Karen. When you're right, you're right. Misgendering. The absolute demon-possessed piece of shit that murdered these people is just... It's beyond the pale. It, it's, it's crazy. Should never happen. But wait, there's more. I hope it was Republicans that lost their lives. One good thing about gun violence is, occasion is occasionally wipes out full Republican families in one fell swoop. I would like to thank Congressional Republicans and the NRA. You know, normally I say things like, straight to jail, or you're fired. Straight to hell. I cast you back to hell, you demon. You absolute demon-possessed human being. Straight to hell. Go, Just go back home, okay? Through the power of Christ, I cast you back to the bowels of hell from whence you came. You absolute piece of shit. 